Hello. We are looking now at uh, orthographic uh, drawing introduction sheet. We've completed task one, the first part of task two here, and now we're looking at the last part of task two. Now this is the most challenging um, part because we've got an object here that we need to draw and we've got no guidelines or anything. So if we, we take a look at this representation of the object and it's, it's orientated like that and if we look at it we've got a plan view here. For the plan view this hole here is hidden detail so that will need to be represented by dotted lines. We have a front view like that and then we have a side view which will be orientated like that. In the side view we've got hidden detail here and here, these two holes and this hidden detail here. So there's our, there's our object that we're drawing. And we're going to start off here with a line at the top here. Again, we haven't got any. De um, try and get that a bit straighter. Um, we haven't got any dimensions, but if we just, I'm going to just try and draw it to fill the space we have. So we're drawing lines here. I think you can see those on the camera, but as, as lightly as possible. Um, I think I'm coming down a bit further there to there. And if you look there, I've kind of sketched out the views. So when it, we'll have a um, plan view there, we'll have a front and a front elevation there. So I'm projecting this line down and Now, at, at, at top shapes there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to freehand the um, and if we put our centers in for our circles, again, we could use a circle template here. I'm just going to freehand these because we really, although we want it to look good, we, we want to really just, and then we can add our center lines, which are dot and dash. If we were drawing with a circle template, we would actually draw our, our center lines first to allow us to locate. Now, We've got a hole here, a hidden detail which we talked about earlier, and we can put that in. And we can also just project that down to here for part here. Then a base. And we've got our base view. Finally, uh, side elevation. Put that line in there. And there's a There's a side elevation. So, really, if we put 
this curve in here. Circle there, that was lying down from those. And our hidden detail we can line down here. And then here we can line this hidden detail across from the hole there. And then main, most of this now is construction lines, so then it's just a matter of you could use H and H2, a harder pencil for your construction lines. I'm doing all this with an HB. Um, that line will go right across to there if we're looking at that view. We do need to also add our hidden detail for our holes there. lining in all our views And there, we have our plan view, our front elevation, and our side elevation. So there is the last task of task two, or the last part of task two, and that is the third angle orthographic projection of the object here, with the three views, plan view, front elevation, and side elevation.